Hello guys, welcome back. Crazy things are happening in the gun control landscape. ATF, an administrative agency, is seemingly trying to create laws by interpreting things on its own. The classic example? Well, as per the ATF, adding stock to AR-15 will make it a short barrel rifle. I mean, the same ATF has approved millions of these guns, but now all of a sudden it seems to have a change of mind. So owning an AR-15 with a stock will potentially land you in jail after a few weeks. Furthermore, the Biden administration is also trying its best to regularize gun control with bills in the Senate and Congress. Even though the odds of the ban becoming law are low, it should not be brushed under the carpet. Members of both sides might not align themselves with the party lines when it comes to gun control. And this makes it important for us gun enthusiasts to take caution and purchase some of the weapons that might become illegal after the law goes into effect. I have compiled a list of some of the best firearms that might not be available to you once the bill passes. Let's take a look at them. Number 5. SIG Cross Purchasing a SIG Cross before the law goes into effect is essentially an on-your-face movement for gun owners. The gun has pretty much everything that ATF wants to ban and more. It includes folding stock, pistol grip, detachable magazine, and an overall modern-looking design. The point is, if any of the gun control activists see this gun, the first thing that'll pop into one's head is an assault weapon which even though it's not, it is a simple regular bolt action rifle, but one that certainly mimics assault weapons in looks. Furthermore, the gun is quite capable, offering more than just allowing you to flip to the ATF. It features an excellent design for both long range, shooting, and hunters. Everything about SIG Cross has modern writing all over it. For example, it includes an aluminum action AR type interchangeable barrel, customizable folding stock, an AR-type free-floating aluminum handguard which encircles the barrel completely. It also features an ambidextrous safety which works and operates like AR safety. Another interesting feature of the gun is that while it looks like a classic type of bolt action gun, it is not. It features an independent and monolithic action as the designer's signature. There are no extra parts to add, weigh, or make the mating of the two-part receiver and chassis system inconsistent. Furthermore, the weapon also offers barrel interchangeability, barrel extensions, and interchangeable bolt heads. You can change the barrels without head space issues. Number 4. AK There is a good chance that AK will get banned regardless of whether Biden is able to pass the bill from Congress. You see, most AKs are imported from other countries, which means Biden himself can make a move and ban their import altogether. You can get either AK-47 or AKM. Both are excellent weapons and firearms you will cherish once others cannot purchase them anymore. While AKM is a more modern version of AK-47, I am inclined toward AK-14 mainly because of the gun's culture and history. To be honest, despite a 700 gram weight reduction and hammer release daily mechanism, there is not much difference between the two guns. There is not much that I need to say about AK, as pretty much everyone on this channel already knows that it is reliable, accurate, and much easier to train with. Furthermore, the gun also enjoys the reputation of being one of the most durable guns to have ever been produced. I mean, it has been used in Siberia's wildernesses. To the Sahara's deserts, little to no reports of malfunctions have surfaced. Right now, the market offers a plethora of variants that feature minor differences, but the best method is to get a basic version and customize it per your needs. You can also turn it into a piece of art that can be transferred in generations as heirlooms. Plus, if it gets banned, the gun's value will skyrocket, providing an opportunity to make some profit. Number 3. Steyr Aug Steyr features an unusual design for a rifle, one that has enormous potential to get banned in upcoming regulations, and it is exactly what makes it worth looking into. Although the price of this gun is higher than other firearms on the list, those with a thing for such a weapon would not mind burdening their pockets. 
It is a bullpup rifle that chambers 5.56 NATO and works exceptionally well for home defense and close quarter combats. Because of the bullpup designs, the rifle offers a full 16 inch barrel while maintaining a compact size, making maneuverability even in congested areas easy. Furthermore, the 5.56 rounds achieve higher velocities because of the full length barrel, which ultimately increases the lethality of the gun. The standard model require proprietary magazines, but some variants and conversion kits allow Stanag magazines. Other features on Steyr AUG include a Picatinny rail, which also includes a 1.5x optic by Swarovski, and two position cross bolt safe, which despite their awkward positions are quite reliable. From the looks of it, the gun looks like something straight out of the future, but let me tell you, it was designed in the 1960s somewhere around the time when M16 was being developed. For a gun that old to look as futuristic as Steyr AUG is certainly a remarkable feature. And these remarkable features might be why they end up being on the list of banned weapons. So hurry up and get yours while you can. Number 2. FN America PS90 FN PS90 is also an iconic rifle mainly because of its use in the media, but it also has a good chance of getting banned. It is a shame, truly, but it is what it is. The gun stands out because of its unique bullpup design and incredible performance. It chambers if in 5.7 and weighs just about 6.82 pounds despite a 16 inch barrel. Certainly, it looks like one great gun, doesn't it? Furthermore, the gun has a 30 round magazine capacity and an excellent optic, which can be installed on the top of the Picatinny rail system. Much like most FN offerings, PS90 is an incredibly durable rifle. It uses a hammer forged barrel that is lined with chrome that can endure the heat of an explosion. Furthermore, despite a simple design, the gun does not cut corners when it comes to creativity. For example, it uses a synthetic thumb hole in stock offering a tighter grip and much better control. The gun's barrel also embeds deep to improve the gun's versatility and epidextrous charging handles which will be a delight for left-handed shooters. The FN PS90 was developed in the 1980s for NATO as a personal defense weapon and after more than four decades it remains in the service of many European law enforcement agencies. It speaks volumes about the quality and performance that the gun offers. FN PS90 is also a kind of gun that can be transferred down the generation as an heirloom. Number 1. Springfield Armory St. Victor AR-15 If there is one gun you want me to recommend, that would certainly be the St. Victor AR-15. These firearms will be the first casualty if the proposed gun ban goes into effect because they are simply too good. Chambered in 5.56 NATO, no other gun matches its versatility, range, accuracy, and overall performance. Furthermore, the gun features rigid aluminum upper and lower receivers and a premium chrome molly vanadium barrel. It features a balanced weight which is around 6.5 pounds and offers a single stage flat trigger to deliver short and consistent pull. While all parts of the guns are well built, the pistol grip and stock trigger guards are particularly excellent. Springfield has used Bravo Company stock which includes QD mounts. These allow lovely cheek weld without pulling the beard hair. Furthermore, the pistol grip has less rearward cam, which is more accommodating than the old A2 grips to the shorter LOP of the carbine. Another feature that is not unique but must be mentioned is the incredible sights that come out of the factory. I mean, there are rifles in this price range that do not even come with the sights, let alone such good ones. All models of Springfield Armory are equipped with front and rear low profile flip sights, which are suitable for shooting in all sorts of environments. There is no such thing as having too many guns but I'm afraid it would not even be possible once the new laws go into effect. So if you have been waiting to add new guns to the collection, now is the best time. We hope this video has been helpful in narrowing down the options. Stay connected with the channel to learn more about firearms, and as always, I will see you in the next one.